rolling off those shoulders as we're jogging on the spot. And then picking up those knees, a bit higher than the knees. And then heel for each guy, get the hamstrings warm, nice and light on the feet. Getting some big breaths in. And then skipping on the spot. Nice and light on the feet, that imaginary skipping rope. And then back jogging on the spot this time, big, big rotations with one arm. And then changing shoulders, big rotations with the other arm. And then arms across the chest. And then from there, little squat jumps, just little squat jumps for now, just getting it warm. Landing on soft knees, spring off the toe. Core in tie. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms out in front, twisting across. Wood chops nice and low, twisting it up. Outside the ankle, big rotation across, getting warm through the back, the core. And then changing sides, yeah, the other side, big twist up. Twisting that through, core and tight. Brilliant. And then from there, we're going to lunge forward, open out the arms across the chest, stretch. Let's go get that knee to the ground, good stride forward as well, good lunge forward. Nice, and as we lunge now, take the hands up over the head, it's a little lean back as you lunge forward. Big stretch through the hip flexors and quads, as well as the back and the abdominals. Four, three, two, one. Into that crystal position, so walking out into your hands. Ten push ups, then it's going down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then rolling onto your back for me. Just getting all that kind of glute muscles warm, ready for those kettlebell swings. So feet hip width apart, we're going to do a hip thrust. So push your heels down, squeeze the glutes at the top. Slowly down, bottom to the floor, dig the heels in. Getting the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, all that posterior chain nice and warm. Steady down, dig the heels in, squeeze the glutes to the top. Four more of those. Four. Three. Two. One, and then roll it onto your front for me into the abdominal plank position. So on your elbows, we're going to bring the knees and hips off the floor. Three, two, one, let's pop them up. Just 30 seconds, bracing the core. Out in time. Squeezing the core in. Holding that position. Short, shallow breathing. Pull the bed one towards the ceiling, towards the sky. 10 more seconds of bracing that core. Cool. And breathe. From there, up on your feet, grab a quick sip if you do need one. And we get ourselves started, guys. So you should be nice and warm, don't you? You need your kettlebell now. So when we get ourselves going, guys, 
Kettlebell swings, 30 seconds, let me just admit somebody back in. 30 seconds with the kettlebell swings. Um, yeah, 30 seconds of kettlebell swings and then we'll do an exercise. Every exercise is 60 seconds long, so you can stop and start as much as you want. And then we'll go back to kettlebell swings for 30 seconds before we move on to the next exercise. I'm going to rotate through that, guys. Everything's going to progress and build up to see you guys more exercises. So, just to begin with, uh, we're going to start with the kettlebell swings. So, getting ourselves started. Hinging at the hips and knees, firing through with the hips. Keep the heels down for now, we're not doing any triple extension. Just hinge over the hips, squeeze those glutes. As you get comfortable with that swing, just like last week, I want us to go into a single arm swing. So just one arm, swinging that up. As you're swinging, leave the thumb underneath your hips, your pelvis first. So thumb underneath first. As you get confident, I want you to change hands at the top. Change hands at the top, not at the bottom. And change your hands, a couple of ways to do that. Just grabbing hold of the handle, leave a bit of room for the other hand to hold, or rotating and grabbing the back side of the kettlebell. That's good. Keep that technique, so core brace, nice and flat through the back, swinging that through. That's good. And just in your left arm, swinging that up, just left arm only. We're going to go into what we call a rack position. Yeah, I'm going to teach you that first, so just bring yourself to there. Pop it down to the shoulder. So focus on rotating the wrist. A little bit of spring off the hip, rotate the wrist and the kettlebell comes resting on that forearm and we're just working through. Keep going, I'll, keep, I'll just keep talking guys. So just popping it through, rotate onto the back of the forearm. Take your time with it and you're looking for the kettlebell to come and meet the forearm and not kind of crash over and hit the forearm. Without putting the kettlebell down, we're going to swing up and change arms and then we're going to start on the right arm. That's it. Rack position on the other arm now, yeah? Core in nice and tight. Rolling that kettlebell just so it rests on that forearm. Think about having your hand in the centre of the chest. Elbow nice and wide to brace and hold. That's perfect. Nice stuff. Now we get ourselves into the swing now. Two arms. Swinging that up. Heels stay down. Swing the kettlebell through. Yeah? I'll give you a side profile. Heels stay down. Hinge at the hips. It's a greater angle at the hips than it is at the knees. So really snap those hips forward and let the kettlebell come down. Swing through. Letting that kettlebell come down. Brilliant stuff, and then into one arm, we're going to go left arm, rack. So just racking left arm. Core in tight, working off that one arm for 60 seconds, bringing it up, popping it down. Really focus on perfecting that. You really want to master this exercise and the swing to really open up a library of exercises that we can be building onto. Get this right, and we'll build it up. Working it through, that's it. Keep it nice and controlled. Pop the hips. Yeah. Obviously, if you're using a dumbbell, just improvise with that the best you can. Kind of work with me on this. And then you're going to change arms with a swing in between. Yeah. So swing it up. Change arms. Straight to the other side, so you never put the kettlebell down. Yeah? Core in tight. Yeah, another thing you want to learn is obviously in the swing, the rack, but also being able to interchange hands during your session. You don't want to be popping it down, guys. Your kettlebell training should be smooth, fluent, look good, feel good. Working through. Heart rate's definitely up now. Bring it in up. We've got this boot camp. Popping it through, we got that. Core in time. Little hinge of the hips, stay nice and neutral through the back. Popping it up to the shoulder. Nice work through.
and then into that double arm swing now. So two arms on, swing it up. You stay down. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. It's a little pop of the hips. You're not lifting it up with your shoulders. You're driving it over the hips. Keep that guy. Now your next exercise, we're going to do the clean. So crack it into your left shoulder. But as you rack it up, guys, so from this position, as you pop it up to clean, you're going to step back with the left leg, lunge down, stand back up. Let's go. So from there, lunge it down, step back up. So kind of land that clean position into the reverse lunge. Yeah, left shoulder, left leg back. Take your time on it. If you're using a heavy kettlebell, 20, 24 kilo kettlebell, just take your time with that. Yeah, look at trying to get five reps every minute. Call it nice and tight. And when you next can, you're going to swing up, change arms. And then get started on the other side. So without putting the kettle lower down, swing it up, step back, and through. Core in time. Keep it going, boot camp. And then back into those swings. 30 seconds, kettlebell swing. Into the hips, core in tight. Keeping that going. Good work guys, if you've not put that kettlebell down, keep it moving. Nice, then into that left shoulder, clean it again. Sweet, we're gonna step back into that kneeling position. So in this position here, just pressing it up, back into the shoulder, that right position. Sweep wide, press it up, back in to that right position. Nice and controlled. Press. That knee leg position really takes away the inertia of using your hips and legs to drive the weight up. That's good. Pressing that through, nearly on that one knee. And then hold it over the head, stand it up, change arms. Step back with the other leg, start again. So on the other shoulder now, guys, yeah? Pressing that up. Keep it all shoulders and arms, core brace. If you're in front of a mirror, focus on keeping the shoulders and the hips nice and level. Pressing it through. Nice and straight through the shoulder and the arm. Press.
One more rep, and then we're back up for some kettlebell swings. So from there, standing it up, and we need it for a double arm swings. Squeeze those glutes at the top, everything should be warm. Nice and neutral through the back, core in tight, popping out through. Keep it up working for me guys, this is good. So we're building up for this next exercise guys, yeah? So left arm, rack position. This is where we're all going to start. Left arm rack. Now from here, I'll demonstrate. We're going to come through, clean into that lunge, press, stand back up, back down. Clean into that lunge, press, Stand back up, let's get started guys. I'll start that timer again in fact. Let's go. Nice and controlled. Remember to get that press in before standing up. Press it up, then lunge up. Drop from the top. Pressing up. This is good, guys. So I like to do kettlebell training. Nice and functional, nice and dynamic. If I ever catch any of you doing lap raises with a kettlebell, you guys just go home and follow me. Leave me number. Press it up, and then we're going to change hands at the top. Swing through, and then get started on the other side. Clean into that reverse lunge, press, stand back up. Drop, clean into lunge, press, stand back up. Get that knee to the ground, press up, stand up. This is good. One more rep. And back into those double arm swings. That's good. So I'm going to build up into a different exercise now. So next sequence. Hinge in through. So the exercise we're going to end up doing first, still got 10 more seconds of swings, is going to be a high pull. So the exercise, you just pull it wide up the head, pull wide up the head, push the kettlebell back down. Let's go. Left arm, pull wide of the head, grip it tight. If you move too slow, it's never going to happen for you. Accelerate, accelerate the elbow up, grip it tight, pull through. I'll give you a side breath like that. Then you're going to swim up and change arms, and then start on the other side, right arm. Keep breathing, core in tight, keep the kettlebell moving. Refuse to put it down. And when we're building up for this sequence of exercises, it's really important that you get used to pulling the elbow up high. Hit 
ठीक है Back inside, do the arm swing. Do the arm swing. Two hands on. Keep the kettlebell swinging. Abs nice and tight. Support the back, brace the core, hinge the hips. Keep that working through. Up to the right. Hinge to the hips. Let's go now this time, left arm, we're going to do a snatch. It's a high pull, punch through at the top. There. So focus on that high pull and then punching through the kettlebell at the top. Let's go land on soft knees. So think of that high pull. Pull quick. Punch through the kettlebell to the ceiling. Nearly there, come on. We can do this. One more, and then back into your swings. Swing spring. Order for those guys, if you've not put the kettlebell down yet, you can't take swinging. You learn how to interchange hands. Swing it through, nice and flat through the back. Swing it up. Keep swinging for me. Next exercise. Stick with the snatch if that's your level. If you want to crank it up, I'm going to push you to do a snatch with forward lunge. So we'll go left arm, snatch through, lunge forward. Stand up, back in again. Snatch, lunge forward. So if it's a left arm snatch, left foot lunges forward. Nice and explosive, you've got to move quick. And then swinging it through, changing arms, you're going to work on the other side. So right arm lunge, right arm snatch, lunge forward with that right arm.
15 seconds. Come on, guys. We've got this boot camp. And then back into that double arm swing to finish. Last set. Hinging that through. Swinging it up. Core in tight, good stretching the hamstrings. Swinging that through. Ten more seconds. And you can pop that kettlebell down, guys. Grab yourself a drink. Tapping that off that super move. All right, guys, we're going to drop down. We're going to do a bit of stretching. Sit down on the floor. Reaching out, stretching off those hamstrings. Hamstrings, glutes, back. So we're going to be fairly tight, guys. Yeah. Reach out and stretch. If you feel your back a lot on the uh, cowbell swing, you can video your form and send it through to me on WhatsApp or whatever, and I'll check it over. Um, but make sure your technique's right and you'll be able to do the endurance of some of these cattlewell boot camps so you'll be able to keep going. If your form's wrong, your back's going to tighten, no play. When your back's tightening up, it's no play. Change legs. Other things as well, being able to lunge. Yeah, everyone knows how to lunge and not everyone can lunge. So make sure you can get your knee to the ground on a lunge. It's going to help you with all the kind of cattlewell training that I like to do anyway and I want to do with you guys too. Big stretch on those hamstrings. Feet together, heels in nice and tight, stretch through the hips. And for me, you're going to lie back, you're going to draw one knee into your chest, holding just below the knee, put it into your chest, get a little bit of stretch to the back side. And then with that knee, then you're going to send it across the body. So stretching across the back. And then roll out to the other leg. So start by pulling the other knee into your chest. And then throwing that leg across, stretching across the back, glutes out far, big stretch. <laughs> 